So the next economic system that we have is planned economy. Planned economy, or also known as command economy, is opposite, uh, absolutely opposite to your market economy. What happens in planned economy is uh, all the resources that are allocated are owned and controlled by the government. Uh, you have very, very less, very minimal control uh, with the private sector and most of the control or all the control is uh, mainly with the public sector. Public sector, I mean the government. Uh, what are the key features of a planned economy or how does a planned economic system work? Number one is uh, all the decisions in the economy are taken by the government. All the resources are controlled by the government. Uh, resources are allocated to the citizens on behalf of the government. So the government is the one who gives all the resources. Companies are by the government. They're owned by the government. Uh, if you're working uh, in a in such a company or in such a firm, you are basically government employee. Your pay is given by the government. So all of this is done by the government only. Uh, production schedules are devised on a long-term basis. So production schedule are basically not for short-term, on taste, on fashion and all of that, but mainly for long-term. What do you require in the long-term for the economy? So the government decides all of that. Uh, wages are uh, minimal. So whatever wage you get, it is very minimal. Why is that so? Because other resources are already provided to you by the government. Um, in such economies as seen, houses are more or less uh, all very uh, homogenous. So everyone can see the same kind of houses. Uh, everyone has mostly uh, the same uh, amount of salary that they get out of, the, out of their companies. Uh, they have very, very minimal interaction or uh, uh, engagement with the international trade. Uh, such economies or planned economies, they do not uh, do uh, much engagement with the international trade or uh, international. Uh, they do not do exports and imports much as they try to produce whatever there is in their country for their country. Right? So that is basically your planned economic system. Let's come on to the advantages of planned economic system. So the planned economy, as uh, uh, we discussed, that uh, there is no competition and uh, nobody is thinking of making better products or better giving, giving better choices, so nobody is thinking about that. So what happens is, you can reap better economies of scale. You can, you can reap better economies of scale, you can make products on low costs as uh, the products are, become, uh, are uh, being manufactured in masses. So that is number one. Number two is, prevent wastage. So when the products are uh, uh, coming out in masses or they're being manufactured in masses, whatever the waste you have, that is that can also be reused in the production process again. So wastage is minimum. Number three that we have is social equality. So something that we talked about in the disadvantages of private uh, sector uh, economic system or market economic system comes over here as well as an advantage. We have social equality. More or less, everyone gets almost the same pay. Uh, there is no social inequality. Everyone is uh, uh, basically on the same level. So there is equality over there. Number four, you have social protection. So everyone will get water, your basic needs. Everyone will get housing. Everyone will get proper, house, uh, proper roads. Uh, everyone will get parks, let's say. So everyone will get the same bread, everyone will get the same milk. So all of these things are basically uh, uh, causing your social protection that uh, you, can, you wouldn't be jealous of another person because all of you are doing the same work in the same, or probably not the same work, but getting the same pay in the same company or the same firm, which is again owned by the government. So that is why you have social protection over there. Number five is employment of resources. So all the resources will be used by the government and will be employed for the uh, for the eco economy and for the long term uh, production. As we said, that uh, there are advantages. We also have disadvantages of planned economy. What are those? Number one is there is lack of economic freedom. So you have to make sure that uh, what you make how you make it, if it is allowed by the government to make such a product. So you have to take care of that. Number two is lack of incentives. 
you do not have much incentives in a uh, planned economy. You do not have much motivation to come up with a new product. Why? Because everything is owned by the government. It does not matter if you come up with a new product, you won't get paid for it. You'll only get paid for whatever salary the government gives you. That's it. Because of this, what happens is, you do not have much financial incentives. So you would not be more concerned about bringing in new products or bringing in new technology. You'll be more concerned with doing your job for the government or whatever is going on, right? Bureaucracy, risk uh, taking would be decreased. So bureaucracy would not be taking a lot of risk. What is bureaucracy? Bureaucracy is basically uh, government officials in the high position or the admin position, management position in the government. So they will not be taking more, much risks. Why? Is because uh, even if they take risks, it won't be of any use. And uh, uh, obviously, they'll be thinking that oh, this is not our product. This is the government's product. Listen, well, let's be frank. In a market economic system, if somebody has its, his own business, he would think and he would like to take risks for uh, his own company. But if the company is not yours, why would you uh, take risk or why would you uh, risk uh, your own income and your own job? You'll be like, all right, fine, I'll do whatever uh, the government tells me to, right? So these are all advantages and disadvantages of your market economic, uh, so for your planned economic system, sorry. The examples for planned economy or planned economic system is, uh, planned economy or planned economic system is mainly, majorly North Korea. Everything is uh, decided by the government. Everything is given by the government. I also read that uh, there are three kinds of hairstyle for men and uh, five kind of hairstyles for women that you can apply and that is all, that is it. That's all the choice that you get. Uh, a lot of uh, websites I've also heard are uh, not allowed, but uh, in any case, we're not here to discuss that. We're just here to discuss about planned economic system, right? The third kind that you have is mixed economy. We will uh, discuss very briefly on mixed economy. So mixed economy is basically where planned and market economy come in together. So uh, some firms are owned by the private sector, some firms are owned by the government sector, mainly the, the policy making and uh, what is allowed, what is not allowed, how much is the tariff and everything, that is decided by the government and how to produce, what to produce and for whom to produce, that is decided by the private sector or the uh, private individuals, firms. Right? So these basically are the three kinds of market economic systems.